Hello, my name is Marino and I just finished my Star Wars fan film Last Trial and I need a poster for it, so since I have drawn a little bit in the past and I know how to use Photoshop, I said why not try to do the classic Drew Struzan style that we all know and love. So I watched the man behind the poster and conceiving and creating the Hellboy movie poster and I got really inspired. First of all, this is not a tutorial and I am not a professional graphic designer. This is just my humble approach to this amazing style and I want to share this process with you. Don't try this at home. The first thing I need is a sketch, a basic idea of the composition that the poster is going to have. This is a short film, not a two and a half hour movie. We have less characters, less scenes, less locations, less everything, and I want the poster to reflect that. I am not looking for something as busy as the usual Star Wars poster. As Struzan does, I am going to be working from pictures, and I have tons of them from the shooting and custom test, and I kept those in mind when designing the poster. I want the composition to have big differences in size, and to be easy and fun to read visually. The first thing you see is the main character, then the co-protagonist, and then the bad guy shooting. You get to see part of the planet in which the action happens, and everything is composed using the two main colors of the film, light brown and blue. I showed this concept to Pablo, the actor who plays the protagonist, and he made me realize something. This is not our main character. Our main character is more naive and optimistic. This kind of scared but ready for the action phase is way too stereotypical. So we met again and we took more pictures to make the poster as representative of the film and the characters as possible. And now that the design with pictures is finished, it's time to start tracing. I ended up drawing six layers, the poster drawn with a hard and soft pencil, the whites, which I will invert to make them act as the whites, two dot layers to add some texture, and another layer with the, um, with the B effects, with the uh, blaster bolts and the lightsaber. The design itself has a frame, so I decided to use the corners of it to act as reference to perfectly adjust one layer on top of the other in Photoshop. I made sure to get really good scans, because I love preserving even the texture of the paper and the smallest details of the pencil strokes, because all those will help to create a more organic and rich texture in the final thing. And this is how all the drawings combined look like. I'm pretty happy with the result, and now it's time to add the color. Our friend Mr. Susan uses an aerograph, but I will use blending modes to get the color back from the picture design. What's important is not how you get there, it's where you get in the end, especially in art, because they don't see the, how you're accomplishing it, they only see the end product. Susan draws so f***ing well, and when he adds the color, the drawing just comes alive. This is what happens when I add the color to my drawing. This is not looking the way I wanted. As you can see, I left behind lots of luminosity values when drawing. To get them back, I will use the picture design again and decide where I want the poster to get closer to the picture, like in Pablo's face, or leave it closer to the pure drawing, like the shadow trooper here. For me, the perfect order of layers is Luminosity from the picture design, then all the dark lines in multiply, then the whites in add or a screen or some blending mode that just gets rid of the black, and color in the color blending mode. From this point on, all I had to do was reveal or hide all the different layers and blend them to create texture. This should be the final result, but something's missing. This is just a photorealistic floating health poster. Why is it drawn? Why don't just use the pictures? Hopefully, we are using art 
to make the poster or the design more appealing, more exaggerated, closer to the thing than a picture could ever capture. It needs more expression to be more attractive. The glow around the Shadow Trooper is a good example of what this artistic technique can offer. So, I got back to the source to see what the master does that I missed. Well, actually lots of things, but I found something that I could still work on with my level of skill. Now it is working. The lens flares add movement, perspective, it makes the poster jump from the screen, not just merely show the characters. This is a movie I want to see. And that's it, thanks for watching, I hope this was useful or interesting for you. Once it is ready to be published, I will link the fan film in the description below, and now it is time to send it to festivals. May the force be with me!